7,500 to compare it number of wins to the old one, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if, if this is the 7,500, well, he won it when it was the Dodge. It's stupid to call it a, a landmark just because it happens to have a name on it. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, when the council was the 500 and, uh, on Labor Day, I, I just, in my mind, I figured they were just going to council Labor Day worldwide. You know, there wasn't going to be no more Labor Day. They, they dropped the 500 off of Labor Day. Nice question, Monty. Next question, please. Uh, Dave, do you have a comment on that? I didn't even know they changed it. <laughs> <laughs> Any follow-up, Monty? No, I just, I didn't do it. I didn't ask it to be popular. <laughs> right here. Dwight Thrill, RaceState.com. I don't think anybody could deny that you two guys are real characters. Uh, uh, as far as a, a daring spirit that you guys had to have to start racing, can you compare that to... The, the same spirit that you have to have now? No, I don't think you can compare it now because it, it was altogether different than it is now. You know, the racetrack is nowhere near like it was then. So it, it's not the same, it's just like a different place. It's still tough though. It's still a tough racetrack, but it's nothing like it used to be. And, and how about you guys, you, the, the characters, the drivers? How about the, the changing of the drivers? Have, have drivers changed over the Well, I think, I, I think the biggest change in drivers, um, when, 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 <laughs> when Pearson and I was coming up, um, of course, Pearson was way right ahead of me. I used to hang on the fence and watch, <laughs> watch everybody. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, was, uh, when David and I came up, you know, there was, we didn't even have go-karts back then, so we... Uh, we, we, we didn't come up like these guys do today when they're three, three or four years old. They get into a go-kart and a quarter midget and you come up through the sprint cars. And, you know, they're veterans by the time they're 15 years old. So Pearson and I were a long ways behind that. Question over at Lindsay. Uh, Alan Cabana, Channel 9 in Charlotte. Uh, we've heard Carl Edwards say NASCAR puts the drivers in a box. You've made recent comments. And maybe there are too many rules. Do you think changing some rules would change the racing on the track? Or the rules, I'd change all of them if I had anything to do with it. Because I don't like none of them. And as far as the box, uh, you talking about the card they got today? Yeah, either on the track or the car, putting the I don't, car together? Uh, well, I don't, well, I've never drove one of these cars today, but uh, it's, uh, I know that every time we go to Daytona, we'd go test and things, it'd be a new car then, and you know, you'd have to change things. And of course, we didn't have wind tones and things like that like they have today, you know. And of course, we didn't have the spoilers they got and the tires they got now. So it was a lot different. And I know we'll forget one time we was at Daytona, and uh, I was holding my breath going through the dog leg. And my son and Larry Barron were working with me then. And they had a spoiler on the back. It wasn't a spoiler, it was just a straight out piece of metal, you know. And when we go try it, I said, no, I wouldn't do it. You know, I said, I'm holding my breath now for my dog digging. You think I'm going to go out there without a spoiler on it? But uh, it was just, the cars is all together different now. they got so much downforce on it. And in fact, I was talking to Glenn Leonard Wood, and he told me how to drive one one time now. You know, he says, you just sit there. you got so much down pressure, it just sits down when you go in the corner. It don't have side by it. it don't get loose and stuff like that. But uh, I, I don't know. That, that thing jumped sideways one time now, all the haulers, you know, I need a set of tires. Yeah. Well, Pearson and I, we, we, we were sideways more than we were straight. That's the way you had to drive, drive those cars back then. We, we ran them sideways all the time. That's what Leonard talking about. He said, you can run six straight laps. Well, you can see it on TV, you know. They run six, eight laps. They have a wreck or something. They dip right in and get them four more tires, you know. And, uh, of course, we couldn't afford that. We had, had to run what we could, you know. And uh, if the car got loose, we just move up a car lens or something like that and, and keep it driving. Okay, yeah, one thing, uh, one victory that got away from you was in 1985, uh, and you really came into national attention the fact that you drove the final laps with no power steering. You finished second to Bill Elliott in Winston Million Chase. Could you talk a little bit about that, trying to start the race with power steering? It goes out in a huge plume of smoke. Everyone thinks you've blown up, and yet you come back and and really gave Elliott a competitive race there. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know, I think it's about 50 laps to go, I think, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, smoke just filled up the car, and I thought it had gone up too. 
So I came on down pit road and Wardell opened the, uh, the hood and uh, found out it was a power steering. And so he just cut the, the, um, the belts off the power steering pump. So I went back out. If you know how how a power steering feels when your engine cuts off, you know what I was what I was putting up with. And uh, but still, we came back and ran good. And I ran him down all the way down. And I think if I had uh, one more lap, he might not have won that million dollars that day. Well, but Tommy, I mean, you were really using the your muscles a lot. There, you really. Uh... Glad you're in good shape. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How do you two guys, all, all the wins here, what's your, is, does one stick out more than the others? One Southern 500 for you, Kale. David, out of your 10 wins? Oh, my, I said it before, mine was the 68, 1968 Southern 500. I wouldn't take nothing for that win. David? Well, I, I, you know, of course, the race is race. You try to win them all, you know, where that goes, but uh, I, I can't remember one out doing the other one before that goes. Probably your first one. Yeah, but the first one wasn't here. No, I mean your first win here. Oh, yeah, the first win here, you know, is always good. You know, anytime you go somewhere and win for the first time, it makes you feel good. Uh, Jim. Uh, these guys today are, 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 it's like anything that gets big. They, they are under a bunch more scrutiny. They, they can't get away with stuff like y'all used to. Uh, drivers back in your era partied a whole lot more and seemed to have a whole lot more fun. Now, first of all, do you think you would fit in with the crowd they have today with the, with the rules they have to go by? And do you think some of them could have fit in with y'all back when y'all were raising the Well, I don't know. Let all those married now take the wife around with them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a lot of different the money part of it. But uh, we did have a lot of fun. We'd get together at the motels and stuff like that. All the drivers, you know, and once they stand at that motel. And, and we had fun. We sat out by the pool, lied at each other and everything else, telling about what springs we was running and stuff like that. But, uh, and today, uh, well, they can't tell that because they all run the same. And, and, the, uh, and they make so much money now, they don't have time to spend it. So they have doing things with their sponsors and things like that. So it's all together. Speaking of racing today, as it used to be, I've been, I'm almost as old as you guys. Um, Are you old and <laughs> <laughs> But it seems to me that back when you were racing, you can tell me if this is true or not, you two would get out front, and if it was in the middle of the event or the beginning of the event, you kind of play around a little bit. Run side by side, put on a show for the fans. Now today the guys get out front and they just go as far and as fast as they can. Is that true that you used to do that? And do, would you think we could use more of that today? You probably could, but I don't know but one guy that does that. I'm not to get out of lunch, you should keep on going. But, you know, that's him. All Kale that's what he likes to do. Well, all Kale answers the last question. How about fitting in with this crowd? Yeah, Kelly wants you, Jim wants you to answer. Kelly, what's your thoughts on fitting in with today's crop of drivers? And could any today fit back wherever you guys are speaking? Uh, about the party and all of what you yeah. told me, well, uh, I, you know, I, my, my house would be short and sweet there. And I, I didn't party. I went to bed and was ready to go the next morning. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I don't remember going to no parties, but uh, we did have fun sitting around the motel. <laughs> Dustin Long, Landmark Newspapers, for both you gentlemen. For as, as big and as strong and as solid as you guys were, a lot of the drivers were back in your day, What's it like to see some of these drivers nowadays, the, the Jeff Gordons, the Kyle Bushes, I mean, small, thin, I mean, do they almost seem like horse jockeys compared to, to you guys or what some of the guys you raced against uh, yesteryear? Well, they are in good shape. That's one thing about it. They, they are in good shape. You know, they might be smaller, but uh, they're in good shape. And, and it, like I say, the cars is not as hot nowadays as it was back then and stuff like that, you know. No power steering. See, Pearson and I came up with no power steering and used to run windows in the car at Daytona and Talladega and didn't have all that uh, space they, stuff they put in to yeah, keep the heat out. No cool suits, no cool helmets. Uh, it was tough oh, back then, buddy. It, it, it was hot in the car. I even double sold my shoes, you know, keep them burning your feet up and stuff like that. But, uh, cars is a lot cooler today than it was back then. But they should be, the stuff that they use. Questions? Thank you. Any more questions? One more for Ed. Uh, 